We're spicing up your next party with a new tasty dip recipe that feeds a crowd. Chef Andy Little says this cheddar, horseradish, and bacon dip is a really popular item on the menu over at Josephine. Good to have you with us Great today. To be here. And we talk about this, but it's really a, 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 an easy dish to put together. It is. It's something that can, you know, can be done in bulk. Can mm -hmm. be done a couple days in advance. We even have a, a couple of tricks here to, to make it even easier than it is. All right, go so, ahead, get us started then. First thing we've got, we've got some smoked cheddar that we're gonna add to the mixer. Okay. Just get that going. Sometimes it's gonna clump up. <laughs> okay, and then the next thing we did, there's sour cream, mm -hmm. mayonnaise, some paprika, a little bit of Old Bay. Okay. And what we've done is taken all of the wet ingredients and added them together. Something that if you're, you know, you're finishing up dishes on a Sunday night and you know you're going to make this the next day, put all these things together and put it in a nice little container so that when you go to make the dip, it's ready to it's go. It's ready to go for it's you. It's just, yeah, it's one okay. more thing. Right, super. One more quick step. So mm -hmm. we'll add a little bit of that. And if you don't have a KitchenAid stand mixer like this, you can certainly do it. Mm -hmm in the hand mixer. So okay. we'll get that right. going. Get that together and everything. And at this point, we're also vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So if you just wanted to make cheddar and horseradish dip, great. Spicy, yeah. nice little smoke from the from the cheese, or we have some cooked off bacon. All right, oh, okay. Another thing too, say you made bacon uh, for Sunday brunch at your house. Mm -hmm. You had a little left over. I'm not sure whose family has a little bacon left over <laughs> after Sunday not brunch. Not at my house, that's right. for sure. But if you did, chop it up, it's ready to go, and it's something that we can just add here okay. as a little bit of spice. One thing that you'll notice that I haven't added uh, that's really kind of important, a lot of salt in bacon. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go too heavy on the additional salt because this is basically a seasoning. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty okay. much the all-purpose meat, yeah. right? It could be a seasoning, it's good to have for brunch, it's, it's there. It's you know, there. Bacon, okay. Bacon's right. not too bad. So at this point, we're finished. Super. So super, mm -hmm. good segue, Super yeah. Bowl Sunday. That's a great thing. Oh, there Dad, you, you go. You want to bring people yeah. over, you know, make uh -huh. it in advance. <laughs> and so what we've done with it, you can see on the side here, this is the cheddar bacon horseradish dip, a little bit of chive on top. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we have these pretzel crisps that we make at the restaurant. Feel free to dig in and, and right. grab some. Uh, so now what, what are you making these out of? So the pretzel crisp is, you know, a basic idea of sort of a cracker. Mm -hmm. And then we just wash the outside. Okay. With, with a solution that, that gives it that nice pretzel-y texture. But what I would suggest, mm -hmm. well, go to the store and buy some pretzels. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nobody wants to, yeah. to put that much work in at yeah. home. And we talked Super Bowl Sunday, but also with holiday season coming right. up, if you've got any holiday parties, that would be great. Now you've got a couple of other things on yeah. the menu too, so tell me what else you've brought while, so, while I try, try this. So a couple of things we're really excited about. One, I mean, this is a dish that's been on the menu for for quite a few years that people really, really latch on to. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, Frank's hot sauce, uh, chicken wings, one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. uh, but we take cauliflower and roast it, toss it with a little bit of hot sauce and some butter, Ooh, okay. some blue cheese, a little bit of celery, and some, you know, some little breadcrumb on top to okay. give it some crunch. That's, that's just a fun dish, a nice way to start a meal at Josephine, but also a really great way to, to start a Super Bowl or, a, you know, holiday party. All right, and tell me about the other one. And then the other one is from our uh, pastry chef, Kayla May, a really great apple crisp and some vanilla ice cream. And it's one of those things where something that is that uh, homey Mm -hmm. And that enticing is just a you know, just a fantastic way to, to finish the meal with Josephine. All right, fantastic. How was it? Oh, it's great. Good. I'm, I'm gonna have Good. another dip here Thanks in a for second. Me. You will find this recipe in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com or you can order at Josephine located in the 12 South neighborhood. Thank you for being with us Thank today. Thank you.